Our next act, uh, he, he's been around the circle for a while. He filmed uh, Pulp Comedy on TV, too. I don't know if you've seen that. He's very funny. He's one of my favorite acts, and uh, he's here for you to perform a headline act. Ladies and gentlemen, James Keating. <laughs> Thanks very much. You guys having fun tonight? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. It's great to be in the city. I'm from Waitakere City, or West Auckland, as I still affectionately like to refer to it. All the Westies, great stuff, represent. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, we Westies don't really need to worry about um, staying in shape because uh, we wear a lot of black clothing, and I say black is slimming. <laughs> I'm wearing black underwear. Normally I'm huge. And I actually am. That's... <laughs> How about those All Blacks? <laughs> As if it isn't intimidating enough, our team doing the haka, our captain Tana Umaga looks like a gang member. <laughs> I reckon forget about the tour bus, just stick them all on Harley Davidson's with a patch on. <laughs> Hope Tana stays captain for one more year so I can carry on using that joke. Because <laughs> the next uh, all back captain will probably be some pretty boy like Dan Carter, and I'll, I'll have to go back to talking about underwear. And like... Rugby is New Zealand's favourite sport, but New Zealand's favourite kids' sport is soccer. And that's because all the anxious parents don't want to see their little Johnny getting roughed up on the rugby field by a big Mouldy or Pacific Islander. <laughs> and that's why the New Zealand soccer team is called the All Whites. <laughs> Thank you. Obviously some races of people are better fighters than others. Uh, that's why in karate you start at white belt and then gradually work your way up to black. Uh, it's an Asian sport but yellow belt is still only second bottom. I was driving along the northwestern Reckon I cracked the road code? You know those bumps in the middle of the road? That I arranged in Morse code? And I drove over them in my car, and it said the faster you go, the bigger the mess. But I was coming the other way, so it said mess, the bigger they go, you faster go. You know, I just about crashed my car trying to work out what it said. <laughs> Reminds me of a road, safety bill, a road safety billboard I saw about keeping your eyes on the road. It just said, do not read this billboard. <laughs> you know, so then I swerved onto the other side of the road, onto the bumps that make a whining sound when you run over them, and it started talking to me. It said, wake up, you bloody idiot. <laughs> I put a mirror over my TV screen, so now I've got 24-hour live reality TV. <laughs> it's pretty boring during weekdays, because it's just me sitting there watching daytime television. <laughs> and every time I get up and leave the room, something always happens. <laughs> Do you find that? <laughs> I enjoy a bit of PlayStation. Are there any uh, Gran Turismo fans in today? A few hands, two coffees, please. It's two, two. I was around at my mate's place playing Gran Turismo on PlayStation, and when the game comes on, it says on the screen in real life, remember to signal your turns and always wear a safety belt. But I think that's missing a little bit out. I think what it should say is in real life, remember to signal your turns, always wear a safety belt, don't go into hairpin bends at 300 kilometres an hour. <laughs> And when you do crash, it's going to be a bit more than just a little bit of vibration. <laughs> My mate's got the speeds to pack, so you've got steering wheel, foot pedals, gear stick, and uh, computer, the computer graphics are amazing, and it feels so real. 
that when you get into the car to drive home, that's when it feels like you're playing a game. <laughs> the road's no playground, but they're painting a lot of it green. They paint the bus and bike lane green. As a cyclist, it's reassuring to know that there's a lane reserved exclusively for both push bikes and buses. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Not only that, but there's Aucklanders and four-wheel drives for who driving on the green is the closest they ever get to going off-road. <laughs> they start swerving at me with their bull bars because they think I'm a wild pig. I make four-wheel drive vehicles so big nowadays I sometimes find myself standing at the bus stop trying to flag down a Pajero. <laughs> Do you ever find that trying to flag down a bus is a bit like appealing to a cricket umpire? I tried to flag down a bus once just by feebly raising my arm and the bus driver was like, no, nah, not interested. <laughs> I feel sorry for cricket umpires. They stand out there for five days trying their hardest to end the game. <laughs> Every six balls they say over, but no one listens. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Thanks very much. God bless.